This comes as a number of top executives from German automakers like Volkswagen, BMW, Daimler prepare for a meeting at the White House today. They are trying to avert President Trump's auto tariffs. Bob, walk us through this retooling that Mnuchin is talking about and what you see happening as a result of tariffs in the auto sector. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think Mary has a choice. Uh, the consumer dictates what cars are going to be produced. They don't want the small sedans. With gas prices where they are, you know, with 20 some states below $2, people are going to continue to buy SUVs, they're going to buy trucks. She has no choice other than she's going to have to put huge discounts on these cars to keep them going. Point number one. Point number two, I was down in the Permium uh, last week, and in the Permium, they're going to produce as much oil. They're projecting next year over 7 million barrels a day that will rival what's coming out of Saudi Arabia. Wow. So I don't see gas prices, I don't see gas prices going down, Maria, in the short term. So the only thing she's going to be able to do is to try to repurpose those plants to get the jobs back. And her calls went up $700 million a year, at least because of the steel tariffs. Yes. So, yeah. uh, again, you, you, your costs go up that much, your public company, you, you got to offset it. <clears throat> but some of that, too, Dagan, don't forget, they've devalued 7%. So the impact on the imports of steel is not the full impact that, that we hear about. Mm. Uh, now, Just for, an additional pressure. It's a little bit of pressure. Yeah. Most of the CEOs said they can handle 10%. They'll get about 2.7 to 3.4 in price and, and uh, a lot of pressure on the supply side.